Hello and welcome to this video presentation of LEAM LMP Emissions Estimation Method. This method provides real-time estimates for air emissions from electric generation based on the specific location. The purpose of LEAM is to provide information that can be used to reduce air emissions. Real-time emissions estimates can help people schedule their electricity use so that they use less energy when air emission rates are high. How did researchers at Wayne State University come up with this estimation technique, and how does it work? Let's go back to the beginning. LEAM is LMP Emissions Estimation Method. The first part, LMP, stands for Locational Marginal Price. LMPs are wholesale prices of electricity used to manage the balance of demand and supply of electricity. LMPs are published by independent system operators, ISOs, organizations that manage the efficiency and reliability of our interconnected electric grid. LMPs are handy for estimating real-time emissions because they are publicly available, they are published for thousands of locations, and they are updated frequently, every five minutes. LMPs are locational, meaning they represent the cost to generate and deliver electricity to specific locations, called CPNs, or commercial pricing nodes. This map shows the area covered by Midwest Independent System Operator, or MISO. The wide range of colors indicates that in this snapshot in time, LMPs varied significantly. On a different day, you can see how locational marginal prices changed from 1020 to 1025 AM. How do we translate these LMPs to emissions? To answer that question, let's focus on the idea that LMPs are marginal. LMPs are marginal because they represent the marginal cost of electricity. This means the cost for producing the next incremental amount. For instance, if demand increased at a certain node by one megawatt, how much would it cost to generate and deliver that additional amount? LMPs represent the cost of such incremental changes in demand. The generator that is affected by such small changes in demand is called the marginal unit, or marginal generator. Let's say we have one commercial pricing node, CPN, and that node is connected to the electric grid, and power plants are currently supplying energy to the grid. Each of these generators has a different cost per megawatt hour produced. If we have a 1 megawatt increase in demand, the marginal generator will be the one to respond to this demand. This is because the other generators are either already at their max capacity or because they are not capable of responding quickly enough to the new increase in demand. Now let's say there is another increase in demand. Maybe the marginal generator is already at max capacity or cannot increase its power output quickly enough. In this case, a new generator may be brought online. This is the new marginal unit. Any change in demand will affect the output of this generator. If demand dropped back down to the original level, the gas generator would likely be shut up down, and the coal unit would be the marginal generator once again. You may have noticed that the marginal generator has the highest cost per megawatt out of the generators that are online. This is because the generators with cheaper costs per megawatt hour are already dispatched, and since they are less expensive to run, they are already being operated at their capacity and cannot supply more energy. LMPs are related to the cost of generating electricity at the marginal unit. Different power sources have different costs associated with them. For instance, it is almost always cheaper to generate electricity using coal than with fuel oil. Knowing this, it is possible to relate LMP to the fuel type of the marginal generator. Since the marginal unit is the only one that increases or decreases its output due to small changes in demand, then it makes sense that small changes in demand will cause changes in emission rates only at the marginal generator. Different types of fuel each have their own characteristic profiles of associated pollutants. So, once we know the marginal fuel type, we can estimate air emissions. Let's review. Locational marginal prices can be related to the marginal generation costs which helps us estimate the marginal fuel type. Then, knowing average emission rates for each fuel type, we can estimate emissions of different pollutants. 
Gleam can be used to help consumers find the times when using electricity will have the lowest impact on air emissions. We have developed an app called HERO, which stands for Home Emissions Readout. HERO uses LMP emissions estimation method to show the users real-time emissions. People can use this information to schedule their electricity use. For instance, they can use HERO to determine the best time to run the dishwasher or even plug in an electric car. Water distribution systems can also use LEAM to reduce emissions. Electricity is used to pump water to customers. Like other electric consumers, water distribution systems could shift some of their electricity uses in time. An example of how to do this is, when emission rates are low, water could be pumped into elevated storage. Then, during times when emission rates are high, gravity can be used to deliver water to customers, instead of using electricity for pumping. Water distribution systems that cover a large area could also shift their electric demand spatially, taking advantage of the fact that LMPs, marginal generators, and marginal emissions vary by location. Pumping could possibly be shifted to alternate pumping stations when emissions were high in a particular area. Our team is developing a software called PEPSO, or Pollutant Emissions Pump Station Optimization. This software is designed to help water utilities reduce the air emissions from electricity use. This is done by calculating an optimal pumping schedule that takes into account how emissions vary in time and spatially. The LMP emissions estimation method reveals how emissions from our electricity use vary in time and space. With this knowledge, individuals, companies, and municipal utilities are empowered to change the way they use electricity with the goal of overall lower air emissions. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more, please visit engineering.wayne.edu/wsuwater.